Hey guys, um, in this tutorial we're going to be doing an entity class. And if you don't know what an entity is, it's basically any, it basically represents any object in your world, any physical object. And it's basically objects that you be, that you will be interacting with, or anything that holds a position in the world, in your game world. So examples could be like your player, um, power-ups, trigger objects, and the ground. And yes, the ground. And since I mentioned the ground, we will have to fix our static sprite just a tiny bit. So go to your static sprite in your header file and delete this function. Since the, and I just, when I checked what the definition of entity is, entity is, I it said that any objects that you interact with and you'll be interacting with the ground. So it's not really a static sprite anymore. So you just delete that function. And remember to delete it in your CPP file as well. And go to your animate sprite header file and delete it. Delete the virtual from the render function since it doesn't have to be virtual anymore. And that should be about it. So let's begin our static sprite class. Create um uh add a class. And call it entity. I'm gonna call it entity. Uh, delete these other ones. We don't need it at the time. All right. In here, you can include your animated sprite class header file. And the bear, we can be adding as private variables right now. So we're passing a create, create an animated sprite object. And call it animated sprite. We will have a, an ID for this, so you could tell us um basically uh what can I say to an ID. Right here, this ID will say if it's alive or not. If it's if it's negative one, that means it's not. It shouldn't render at all. And if it's one, then it should render it. So that's what an ID should should be, or should represent here. And passing a health, since we can need a health. We can add some protective variables. And in here, we can add the destructor and cons uh, constructor and destructor to be protected. And in here, we can set a um, set our ID. So create a function to set an ID. Passing an, ID, an, an int and set that set the ID to that int, whatever you called it. In the public, we're going to be adding uh, an initialize, void initialize, and we're going to pass an int and width and a height for our sprite. We can have an update, of course, and pass in a, a DT, a float. And we're going to pass a render function to render our objects. So we'll pass in a boy render and pass in a position. And now we're going to have some getter functions. We can have a that will get our rect. Oh, 
and it will return our animated sprite dot get wrecked oh, it's not animated well you know what yeah passing the D or whatever you call it but just make sure you call it the right way for the next get a function we can uh, get our health And just return to health. We can uh, get an ID. Just return the ID. See, I didn't misspell anything. Constant, get ID. Oh, there we go. Remember, it has to be curly braces. And now we can have some setter functions. And we'll set our health. I'm passing an int. And set the health to that. And we can have a uh, to set our animation. So passing a, a, an int and a number of frames. And since this is going to be contain a little bit more information, then we can put in a CPP file. So don't worry about that at the moment. And our last setter function, we can have have it to set our file name. So pass in a sharp pointer or a file name and we'll set the M animated sprite and call it right and pass and call it the initialize and pass in the file name and that'll be all for our header file. Alright, so we'll, let's go to the CPP file. And let's call our initialize. I, I just noticed that I misspelled entity, huh? <laughs> Alright, remember you called it right. I mean, I'll fix it later just so it could work here. I'll fix it off screen, but just for now, just leave it like that. Just follow what I'm doing and call it initialize and set the health to zero. And here we're going to be setting our animated sprite and set width and height to that all right and um actually you know what set our health back actually in the constructor is because we can be calling our initialize a couple of times if we can be animating your object so every time you call initialize, you can set the health to zero, so it's not good. So just set it to a constructor. Um, then it will do our update. And we'll call the M animated sprite update in here. Really simple, and then we'll let's do the render. All 
and call the anime sprite render function. Oh, we have to pass a rectangle. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it's good. And we'll pass in the position. And we're gonna be calling our animated sp animated sprite dot get wrecked. And that's it for the render function. And for our last function is our set animation. In saying here, call it animated, call it your animated sprite, M animated sprite. That's set and max frames to your frames. And say if your frames equals zero, equals equals zero, then you will set your animated. Sprite, let's set your animating, set animation, and you set it to false since it will, since frames equal zero, then it sh then it shouldn't be animating at all. So you set the animation to be zero. I mean false. Other than that, then you just set it to true. Well, you know, uh, else just set it to true. And that'll be it for our entity class. It's really simple, actually. And in the next tutorial, I'll be doing an entity manager that will manage a, this class. To you will see. I'll let you know when I'm in there. Well, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See you guys.